Rose Branch Library, and today we're going to make paper lantern fishes. So for starters, you are going to need a paper lantern. If you're making regular fish like these here, um, you might, you'll want cardstock. And I've already pre-cut some, but you can freehand drawing the, the fins that you want, or you can find a template. I found a template and I've already cut these out. All right, so we'll put together our paper lantern first for this one. And what I like to do, I like to go ahead and stretch it out first. And we'll put the wire through. All right, now you can use regular glue, hot glue, or double-sided tape. For this one, I'm going to use hot glue. And make sure you know what's the top and bottom of your fish. <laughs> and all I do, pick where I'm going to put the mouth. We're going to start with the mouth and the tail. I always put the fins on after. Now you can make little tabs for these, but I find with the hot glue I don't have to very often. Yes, I know that's what I'm doing. already been cut. Now we're going to glue on the fins. It's pretty easy because you can go along the Follow the lines on the paper lantern as guides. Okay, so we have got our fish mostly done. We're gonna add the side fins, and you can make little tabs with this if you want to make it easier. it in a little bit for a second. Yeah. And then if you want to add eyes, we can add eyes. You can cut and draw your own. In our case, we are just using googly eyes. Make it quick and easy. some jellyfish. So for this one, again, you're going to want your paper lantern and some possible materials you can use are crepe paper streamers, tissue paper, you can also use tablecloths um, or balloon paper. We're using these today, tissue paper and crepe paper streamers. So with the crepe paper streamers, what you can do for the tentacles you can pull it out to whatever length you want them. And I just tear it off. I don't see the point in cutting it neatly, but you can just tear it off. And there's some different things that you can do to um, add a little texture to it. You can gently pull at the sides here. Ah, without tearing. It's very easy to tear. So be, 
be careful and be gentle if you do this one. And you'll see how it creates a little bit different texture. You can also kind of crumple and wad it up. Again, gives it a little texture when you're hanging it. Um, I've seen uh, some other methods where they fold them really small and scrunch it. You can also do this a little bit and it will also give it another texture. So you can do these things to give, to do that. Now with the tissue paper, there's a couple methods that get you a really pretty roll. So you can take your tissue paper sheet, you can fold it in half once, And what you can do, you can cut a semicircle here and it'll give you a really long oval. Or we can fold it in half again. And this is what I'm gonna do. I'll fold it in half again. And I've made a circle template and we can cut a circle out of it. You can also fold it in half one more time, which you might wanna do if you're using a smaller lantern like this. And take a smaller circle, draw two circles on here, and cut two smaller circles out of the tissue paper. And then what you're going to do, once you have your circles cut, depending on the size of the tissue paper you went with, obviously if you go with the longer oval shape, you're going to get longer, looser tentacles. If you go with the smaller circle, and you go with the circle shape, you're gonna get tighter, um, shorter tentacles. Now what you can do here, I'm just gonna take this circle, I'm gonna paper clip it to help hold it while I cut, and we're just gonna cut a circle out of the tissue paper. Now, once you've cut out your circle or oval, you can cut one sheet at a time. I admit, I find it tedious. <laughs> so, you're just gonna start cutting a spiral out of your circle. Again, I think I'm going to paper clip it to help hold it for a little bit. I'll have to undo that paper clip in a minute. I try to get it, keep it about an inch from the edge as you're cutting in. And just keep cutting a spiral as you close into the middle. Now, at this point, you can leave it like this and you can have long tentacles and you'll, you'll just tape this end with it long, or what you can do, and it's what I did, you can cut that edge off, and we can take our tissue paper, and be careful, they will tear easily while they're tangled. We'll take a piece of tissue paper and fold it in half, like this, and then, once we have some of these, you can glue or tape them around the bottom. Now I'm just going to use regular Elmer's glue and we'll get this one started. So we have, a, we have one folded in half here. We'll just stick that there. Again, if you have some of these strips, you can work these in as well. Or you can do a, you can do completely different jellyfish. And you'll just keep working your way around the jellyfish as much as you want. Now, it, it turns out much cooler and prettier when they're doubled up like this and bent in half, but again, you can save the ones with the dots and have longer strands, or you can cut a longer oval, fold this into fewer halves, and you'll ha also have longer strands of tentacles. 
Again, you can use tape, you can use hot glue to do this. I'm just using regular glue. And this is only partially full. Here's what we have so far with it. And you can have longer strands as well. You don't have to do all shorties like these. You can also make an octopus with paper lanterns. So here we have another paper lantern. And I have, we made some tentacles. I went ahead and found some um, templates and print them off on cardstock and we pre-cut some tentacles for it. So all you do then is glue, glue on the tentacles how you want them. And if you want him to have eyes, we can glue on the eyes or tape them. I think hot glue is going to work better for this one. And we small body and really long tentacles this time. And again, if you want, you might also try making um, tabs to glue them with. It, it depends on where you're wanting to stick it and how well it's working for you. Okay, so we've got most of the tentacles glued. And remember, if you want, you can also add some eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some hot glue and put some little googly eyes on them. And also, but you don't have to use googly eyes. Remember, you can also just use regular paper and color, or you can use paint and paint the designs that you want onto your paper lanterns, including eyes. So here's our cute jellyfish, or not jelly, our cute octopus and with six tentacles. We'll add two more later. So now another fish we can make with our paper lanterns is a uh, blowfish. And I've already got one started here with some little spikes poking out. It's really easy. I have some pieces of cardstock. All I did was cut one of these little squares in half and then cut little triangles out of it, like so. And just go all the way down the line and keep going. So we have these, and what I did was make a little tab with it. Again, you can use glue or double-sided tape. This time I'm gonna use some double-sided tape, and we're just going to stick these little tabs on our blowfish. And when you get done, we can add eyes and a mouth if we want. So I'll probably go ahead and just glue me on some eyes to get it started. And we can keep adding spikes to our blowfish. And that's all there is to decorating and making a paper lantern blowfish.